What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel, where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put the notification bell on all, so you get notified immediately of all our latest content. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, uh, there's been some news floating around lately that um, now KSI, the famous YouTuber, he's got like 34 million followers ab across his uh, social media platforms, very 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 popular guy he is now going to be uh collaborating on a new company with uh Sauland, uh boxing and um who are headed by the wasserman group and and they're all coming together to make a new company and um apparently what this new company is going to do or specialize in is uh crossover bouts and celebrity boxing so um this this whole thing is going to be about uh, you know sort of bringing over you might have people from the music industry who might want to jump you know put the gloves on don the boxing gloves and try to hand up boxing for for a single fight against someone else from the music industry um they were saying it's going to be crossover so um i think it, it might look something perhaps like uh what they've been doing on Trilla, where you're bringing American football players, you're bringing basketball players, and they these guys might fight YouTubers or whatnot, uh, or YouTubers might fight each other. But the, the the general idea of of this thing, from from what I've read with this this new company they're bringing together, is that it's all about crossover, and um, uh, I think Cali Sowland was was saying. Um, you know, look, uh, my man KSI's got a huge following. He's got a massive following. And by his, you know, him bringing his following over here, we're going to get more eyes on the sport. We're going to get more money involved. And, and it's just going to make the whole thing thing a lot bigger, basically. So, um, you know, the idea here is you, you bring in a popular guy. He's a YouTuber. He does his thing. Um, he's a YouTuber who, as we know, he's fought uh, Logan Paul twice. They they managed to sell out uh, Bethnal Green, uh, the York Paul and Bethnal Green, all by themselves. Him, I think it was him versus Jake Paul or some other YouTuber or whatever. They come over, all the Rolls Royces sold out the York Paul. And, and these YouTubers, they definitely prove that they've got their own audience. They, they've definitely... Um, you know, the, the next one they had uh, over in America, you had Anderson Gibb versus Jake Paul. You had KSI versus Logan Paul. And, and even, I think, DAZN, uh, you know, Matchroom and DAZN were, were involved in, in some of their cards. So um, the, the YouTube thing is definitely a, a powerful medium. I mean, I'm, I'm using it right now. And it's, it's a very powerful medium. These guys, uh, the YouTubers, they've got massive audience. They've got... Um, die-hard fans who who watch all their stuff, who watch all their content. Um, they've definitely got the sort of young audience on lock because you know the generation sort of before mine, the the young teens and whatnot. These these kids will have all grown up watching YouTube and they'll have watched these these guys grow and their channels grow. So um, I, I definitely see see the point here that you know you you get a popular guy bring him into boxing do some crossovers make it and it and it makes a lot of money and i think that's that's the 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 bottom line here the 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 overall sort of objective is you know you you bring this guy in uh he'll specialize in celebrity boxing and whatnot and i suppose ultimately it, it may bring more more eyes to the sport um a lot of people that you know there's there's sort of mixed emotions and mixed thoughts on this thing um you know i think a lot of hardcore boxing fans like myself you know would be thinking well yeah these guys are coming in but they're just kind of coming in for their own little motives uh they're not really do, do, what they're gonna do is is just more of a circus more of a sideshow and it's not really gonna help real boxers because it's not gonna put money in the pockets of of real boxers and um, I suppose that is an argument. Um, I, I can see where that's coming from because um, it's one of those where I don't know for sure whether the people who will watch a KSI, a Logan Paul, a Jake Paul, the you know the other massive YouTubers out there, I don't know whether um, them 
coming to boxing actually will make boxing any more popular i think generally speaking it will probably just um, bring over their audience to boxing for whatever they do but i'm not i'm not 100 convinced that i doubt that their sort of fan base will actually stay and start to watch um real boxing will actually start to watch um uh, the the guys that do this for a living, the the real boxers who's, who came from the ground up and the real sort of world championship fights and whatnot. I'm I'm not sure whether whether their fan base will want to stay and actually watch the the real thing. Um, but as some have pointed out, um, one good thing that can come from this whole venture and this whole I guess celebrity boxing, YouTube boxing thing. One good thing for the sport could be that more people start to try the sport and start to pick it up. So um, that could be a, a good sort of fruit or a good result of this whole thing is that, okay, for the boxers themselves and for the sport itself, it will bring eyes for that moment, for those particular events, a new audience, but they'll probably leave. Um, maybe some will stay. I think very few might stay with boxing, but I think one good thing it could do for the sport it, in terms of growth is it could get more kids, more young kids to actually think about, well, if this guy can do it, this YouTuber can do it, maybe I should uh, go into a gym and maybe I should try boxing. And you never know. I think that that could be um, a positive thing out of it, that it could um, you know, allow or, or sort of make more kids and more people think about um, taking up the sport of boxing you know that that's definitely uh something that could be a positive it could encourage more people to to give it a go give it a try and that that brings um our sport up a little bit more and also another thing to consider is that um as um hatman strikes back as he said in his blog that look um these guys could just as easily take their audience and take the attention that they get into another sport they could go into mma they could go into i don't know football or kickboxing or or anything and and bring the attention to that sport but the, the fact that they're bringing this attention to to boxing you know it's 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 it, it might not bring lasting fans or whatnot but it does bring eyes to the sport it does bring at least some attention to the sport which okay it, it might not be the best but it, it is i think when you bring attention to a sport it might not be absolutely for the best but in in a sense it's it is kind of a good thing you know that although yes they're coming to watch youtubers at least their the attention is on boxing uh which which could be a, a good thing in the end but you know it's one of them where i flip flop on on this whole this whole situation i think in a sense yeah it's fair let them come in they've got their big audience uh let them come in let them make their money and, and do their thing you know it, it is what it is it's a it's a free you know it's a it's a it's a open marketplace if you can come in if you can make a lot of money doing what you're doing um then fair enough you know it's it's, it's all fair there so um yeah that's just my thoughts on it kind of mixed up mixed on it but um ultimately it does bring attention to boxing so um you know, we'll we'll see what happens with this company we'll see whether it lasts or whatnot but yeah let let me know your thoughts on it what do you think about ksi and um uh, the Sowlands, uh wasserman and that teaming up to make their own company um in order to to provide sort of crossover about celebrity boxing well what do you think on this matter uh, let me know your thoughts and until next time this is mko pugilism over and out i'll catch you on the next one.